Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Hafizuddin bin Nabis Khan My metric ID is 18BB05033 Today, our team are going to be presenting on topic of derivatives in Malaysia So, these are the table of contents that we will be, re we will be covering The first, introduction of derivatives and Islamic derivatives in Malaysia Next, the importance or function of derivatives in, in Islamic finance Categories or types of Islamic derivatives in Malaysia Requisite for Sharia compliant derivatives Fukaha viewpoints on conventional derivatives instrument Issues or challenges in Islamic derivatives And finally, conclusion I am going to talk about the introduction on derivatives and Islamic derivatives in Malaysia so derivatives is a financial instrument that derives its value from the value of its underlying asset So simply, derivatives means a contract that we buy and sell which is set today but will be fulfilled at a stipulated date later So Islamic derivatives are mostly similar to the conventional uh, derivatives The difference is, Islamic derivatives are free from gharar, maisir, riba so that it, fo it follows the Sharia rule And Malaysia joined the derivative trading community with the launch of crude palm oil futures traded at the KLCE Kuala Lumpur Commodity Exchange in October 1980 The trading futures regulated by the Securities Commission under the Ministry of Finance and cleared by the Malaysia Derivatives Clearing House So after this my member will my member team will be talking about the function and other topics related to this to, uh, presentation. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nurahati Rabinti Rosli. My metric number 18BB05014. Next, I will explain about the functions of the derivative in Islamic finance. I divide it into three. The first is refer the risk of management. The price of the derivative is related to its underlying asset, therefore, it can be used uh, to increase or decrease the risk of the owning the asset. For the example, a person named Ali can reduce his risk by buying sport items and selling future contract or the call options. This is how this, uh, it works as if there is a drop in the spot price. Feature contract and subtable of the option will uh, also fall. Ali can uh, repurchase the contract at the lower price and will uh, even make a profit. This a partic uh, particularly offset the losses on the sport item. This of the speculations in the derivative uh, market also make it easier for the investor who want to protect their expected positions in the spot of market. Secondly, it's about the derivative market also serve as the important resource of the information on the price. Price for the derivative instruments such as the forward and the future can be used to determine what the market expects in the future. So in the most case, the information is uh, current and reliable. Therefore, a forward and future market are very helpful in the price of this uh, discover of the mechanism. The most likely problem with the forward contract is the risk of the uh, opponent failing. The risk of default in the future contract does not arise much from the dishonest parties but from the increased incentive uh, to default due to the subsequent price and movement. Typically, the price of the future contract is reached uh, about the mutual agreement based on the negotiations. This is problem. Uh, inherent uh, in this mechanism because with the uh, imbalance between the bargaining positions of the both parties there is a possibility that the forward price will be first by one uh, party to another trending future contract also solve the problems in the future contract which are likely to be uh, look, uh, look up at the unfair price with the large number of the market participants, the price discover mechanism is perfected and a reasonable price Oscar in the market. 
Thirdly, about the operation for the derivative market, also have a greater liquidity uh, than the spot of the market. This means uh, commissions and another transactions costs of the trader are lower in the derivative market. Furthermore, unlike the securities market that do not uh, encourage a shortening, short selling is easier uh, in the derivative. Based on the risk of management, short selling, price discovery, and the better of liquidity make derivative more effic uh, efficient in the market. That's all from me. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nor Anafiza Piti Mausin, 18BB05038. So, I will present about type of Islamic derivative uh, in Malaysia. First is Islamic FX Forward IFF. Islamic uh, FX Forward IFF is based on Wadu. The contract is written, dated and signed uh, document by one party promising to enter into an agree foreign exchange contract with uh, another at a specific uh, date in future. So basically a Wadu is a unilateral promise or undertaking which uh, refer to an expression of commitment given by one party to another to perform certain action in future. Okay, next is Islamic swap, Islamic FX swap, uh, Islamic cross-country swap and Islamic profit rate swap. Uh, Islamic profit rate swap are mainly used to avoid price change in the value of an asset and to avoid uh, market fluctuation uh, in the rate of exchange. Uh, these are the agreement to exchange profit rates between fixed rate and floating rate financial transaction and require a trade of asset in the underlying contract to comply with Islamic principles. Uh, next is Islamic foreign exchange swap. Hereafter, Islamic FX swap is a contract that is designed as a hedging mechanism uh, to minimize market participant exposure to market currency uh, exchange rates which is uh, volatile and fluctuating. Okay, next is Islamic option. Islamic option is an option is a contract that give buyer the right but not the obligation to purchase or to sell the specific quantity of an asset for a set price uh, at the specific date in the future. Okay, in action uh, uh, for this right, the buyer pays a price known as a premium to the seller. Okay, and uh, Islamic ha Islamic uh, option has two types which is um, put option and call option. Put option is uh, give the buyer right to sell uh, the asset by a certain date in the future uh, for a specific price. And call option is give the buyer the right to buy the asset by a certain date for a specific price. And lastly is the future contract. Uh, future contract is defined as a legally binding commitment to deliver at a future date or take delivery of a given quantity of a commodity or a financial uh, instrument at an agreed price. Uh, it is a firm legal agreement between a buyer or seller uh, and uh, an established commodity exchange in which uh, the trader agree to deliver or accept delivery during a design period uh, of a specific amount of a certain commodity. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Farhatul Jannah bint Ayyub. My metric number 18BB05024. Today, I will explain about the Kuzat for Sharia Compliance Derivative. So, all financial instruments generally must meet some certain criteria in order to be considered as halal or permissible. So, all financial instruments and transactions must be free at this, um, these five elements. Firstly, it's riba. Riba means increase or additional to anything or commonly we known as charging in interest. Secondly, it, secondly is my seal which is gambling. My seal means um, unnecessary risk is created by entering into transaction with hope to gain something or we are known as gambling. Thirdly is gharar. Gharar means, means unnecessary risk, deception or internationally induced to in uncertainty. Fourthly is rasuah or corruptions um, means you give something or given something in order to influence the decision of individual. Lastly is jar or ignorance 
um, from financial transaction viewpoint, the transaction is unacceptable if one party goes ignorance. There are several muamalah contracts that have mutual resumber derivative and can be used for hedging, just as salam and istisna contract. The muamalah contracts that are used to create products which have features similar to forward future option and swap are community murabaha, musawwamah, bayal al-idna, BBA, tawaru and wa'ad. Next, the Shariah has some basic condition regarding to the sale of an asset. According to the Shariah, the sale will be valid if first, the commodity or underlying asset must be currently exit in its physical, sellable form. Secondly, the seller should have legal ownership of the asset of its final form. So, these conditions are acceptable for your asset as opposed to financial asset. This condition for the validity of sale to make derivative trading impossible. However, Shariah provide an exception to this general principle to allow for deferred sale if required. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Tasnim Hati Azhar and my metric number is 18BB05018. Now, I will talk about Fulqaha Juris viewpoint on conventional derivative instrument. Risk exists in business and finance. Investors around the world use a variety risk reduction tools and instruments including derivative instruments such as future contract. After examining the evolution of derivative instruments, their use and player in this market, Islamic scholars review some of the re Islamic relevant Islamic literature and attempt to outline Islamic stance on modern future and option. Many scholars argue that future contracts are justified while rejecting the argument given against their inability, while others argue that the contemporary business environment demand to use them. Here are the view of two types in the derivative market. This is the point of view of future. There is a similar contradiction in the argument based on the validity of a future contract. The writing of Mufti Taqa Osmani of Fit Academic Jeddah mentioned in the further article that modern future contracts are not valid for two reasons, which is all forward and future transactions are not valid in Sharia due to well-known Sharia principle that sale or purchases cannot be executed for the future date. Besides, most community future delivery or their ownership are not intended. In the most cases, the transaction ends with the settlement of the price difference only, which is not allowed in Sharia. In proposing Islamic future market based on Bank Asalam, based Fahim Khan was look at the conventional market roughly. He harsh critique of modern future contract in that they must exploit small farmer for having given the wrong signal. That is the future market become completely free and separate from the cash market, which tend to give the wrong signal to the farmer. And farmer was not becoming a player of future market because they have to compete with professional speculators. They may eventually be exploited by the wrong signal. Second is view of options. Several so schools have found that such options are unpleasant. Each of the schools object for the different reason. Ahmad Muhayyuddin Hassan object on two reasons, which is that the maturity exceeds three days according to the contract option is not acceptable. Next, option buyer are given far more benefit than the seller because and this is operation and injustice. Abu Sulaiman found an acceptable option when viewed on the basis of buying an urban, but conclude that the option should be prohibited as he assumed the option will be missed and does not depends on the underlying asset and therefore it is not appropriate appropriate for the seller to be charged a premium. But other schools have been by an urban transaction because urban is tran transaction in which the buyer placed the initial good 
will deposit with the seller but if the buyer decide not to proceed with the transaction the payment adjust for the initial deposit is not refundable Assalamualaikum, my name is Izzat Bikam binti Ismail, my metric number 18 will be 05037. Along with the growth of derivative, they are not excluding from the arrival of issues. Until now, many issues regarding the validity of derivative has have been debating among juries, and mostly the issues are relating to Sharia issues. So in this video, I will explain three Sharia issues which is relating to gharar, speculations, and gambling. So the first Sharia issue is regarding Garar. Many scholars uh, reject derivative because they claim that it contains the element of Garar. Basically, they claim two issues which is relating to Bay Ma'dum and Ta'jil Badalin. So the first one is Bay Ma'dum. It is referring to conducting a transaction or contract with non-existent product. So as we already know, contract with non-existent product is haram in Islam. However, SSC has rejected this issue by stating that uh, the by makdum or uh, garal element only occur if the transaction is uh, if the parties is unable to transfer the asset and it is not happen in derivative. Next garal issue is relating to tajil badalin which is about uh, the postponement of delivery of goods and payments. So many claims that uh, it contains the element of garar. However, uh, according to the jurists who rejected this issue, they claim that the uh, derivative market may still contain the element of garar but in a minimum amount since the uh, derivative market is an organized market. So they can reduce the garar element. So since uh, garar yasir is acceptable in Islam, so this issue still cause a uh, disagreement among juries. Next is speculative that being linked resembling a gambling. So speculations uh, happens when a party involved in a contract and does not have the intention to take over or own a physical assets. And so speculators uh, gain profits by the price changes in the market. So jurists like Al Saati claim that uh, speculation activity only depends on fact. However, SSC and Muhammad Dawood on the other hand rejecting the issue uh, since it not clearly contain the element of fraud and manipulations. However, SSC suggests that the market should be controlled to avoid injustice. Next issue is either or not the derivative contain the element of gambling. So some scholars claim that the initial margin that being paid in the beginning of contract is a betting by the parties. However, Muhammad Daud rejecting this issue and claim by stipulating that the initial margin play a role as a security, same like a collateral in a Rahno contract. Next, uh, Islamic Fiqh Academy classified some derivative uh, with underlying asset like uh, share index as a gambling. However, SSC uh, not uh, agree with the decisions since uh, an index has its own value and can increase or decrease according to the demand of its underlying asset. Finally, for the conclusion, the derivative assists the investors, traders and managers of large pools of funds to devise such strategies so that they make proper asset allocation to increase their wealth and yields by achieve other investment goals. And Islamic derivatives allow Muslims around the world to safeguard their investment using Sharia principle rule by avoiding issues arising due to scholars' views on the matters of gharar and others that includes in the conventional derivatives. That's all from us. Thank you.